What a wonderful day we've been having uh, across the area for the past several days. But again, that's going to change here a little bit as we head towards tomorrow. You can see that rain shield uh, starting to make approach itself to our southwestern counties here. Places like uh, Poplar Bluff down towards Cotton Hill, areas like Kennett. Um, and Holcomb seeing that light rain right now moving into the region. But again, it's very light stuff right now currently. And as we take a wider look, you can see the system as a whole uh, moving into the area. A big shield of rain here to our south and west, but this will be slowing down as it pivots to the uh, north and east. So I don't expect this to really get uh, much farther than areas in the boot heel and far further northwestern uh, regions of Tennessee. T temperatures area wide though looking very nice right now, very much above average. Our cool spot out in Mount Vernon at 43 degrees. As you head further south in Cape Girardeau, you're looking at 50. Paducah sitting at 52. And our hot spot right now, Union City at 57. So still very uh, above average for this time of year in terms of our temperatures and this evening. But again, those clouds are moving in tonight with our threat tracker. Showers do develop to our south and they'll stay south as we head towards your day tomorrow. And then full sun returns for your Monday and even into Tuesday of next week. So that's going to be uh, very nice. Again, you can see those clouds starting to move in and of course the rain as well as we head throughout the evening and overnight tonight. You can see the rain even potentially making it to places like Cape Girardeau, um, Paducah, Murray, seeing some of those very, very light showers. But as we progress through the afternoon, it starts to wane back to the south and the west. So I expect, again, these light showers to start breaking up as you head towards the afternoon, remaining mainly to our south for our southern uh, counties there. And then eventually overnight, we clear out those clouds and we'll wake up Monday morning with uh, pretty much mostly sunny skies for most of the region. Now, how much rainfall are we talking about? Potentially anywhere from a half an inch to even less than that uh, as you head out down towards your south and west. So again, we're dealing with very light amounts of rain here for most of the region and some of us staying completely dry. So a dry weekend in store for many of us. Again, you want to keep that Storm Track 3 app handy as you do have that radar in the palm of your hand. So you'll be able to see and track the storms and well, not storms, but the light rain as it moves near uh, and around your backyard. So as we head out throughout tomorrow's forecast, you can see you waking up tomorrow morning a little bit cooler than uh, than we are right now at 38 degrees, but mostly cloudy skies. And again, those showers south of us dealing with that at around 2 p.m. and most of us staying dry tomorrow. But again, that small chance to the south and then we'll cool down to around 43 tomorrow evening. Now, of course, the precipitation chances over the next couple of days, it's going to be not very wet at all. That Sunday system, most of us stay dry and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, again, another dry period for most of our area. So that 10 day forecast showing you that the Sunday weather is going to be cloudy. No more sun there, but Monday, Tuesday looking absolutely gorgeous there with full sunshine. Partly cloudy skies there for your Tuesday before another system heads our way Wednesday and Thursday. But look at those temperatures staying in the upper 50s, even 60 as wow. we head towards next weekend. So again, this is spring, not winter, apparently. Yeah, this so. is not this is nothing you can complain about. I mean, this is very <laughs> enjoyable for anybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Yeah.